2020, which I think was going to be remembered as the year that COVID-19 hit the world. And um, it has dramatically changed normal clinical practice of many aspects of medicine, including in oncology. Um, it has made many oncology patients very concerned about going in and getting their routine care because of concern about picking up. What we know is that cancer patients, particularly lung cancer patients, are probably at no greater risk of picking up the virus than anyone else. But if they were to catch the virus, if they already have a compromised immune system or a pro-inflammatory environment or compromised lung function, that they might do worse. Now, that is a broad brushstroke, and maybe individuals who have uh, a non-smoking related cancer or who have great respiratory function might be at no greater risk than anyone else. We just don't know, and we're still figuring this out. Honestly, I would say the single biggest risk to a cancer patient is not paying attention to the care of their cancer more than the risk of COVID-19. The specter of COVID-19 first really emerged maybe in about March 2020. None of us knew what to do. Uh, our own hospital set in place uh, jeopardy plans, double, triple, quadruple jeopardy in case every member of the medical team was wiped out. I was set up to cover the genitourinary practice, which would have been a little scary because the prostate's quite a long way away from the lungs. But we were all ready to do what was needed to be done. And there was lots of delaying things in the hope that this might go away very quickly. Of course, it's not going away very quickly. And what I can tell you is my impression is people have allowed their fear of COVID-19 perhaps to present a little later with their cancer, not go into the hospital for management of their symptoms. And that in the setting of a terminal disease, a serious disease like lung cancer could be the difference between life and death. So COVID-19 is serious, lung cancer is more serious. And we shouldn't forget that. Thank you.